Hello everybody, Kitty Shakerita here, and this is my last video for today. Today I'm talking about, and let me see if you can get this right. Mm -mm. There's 104 days of summer vacation, school comes long just in there. So the general problem of our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe building a rocket or finding a mummy or climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Da -da 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 -da, discovering something that doesn't exist. Hey, or giving a monkey a shot. <laughs> Surfing tidal waves, creating animals, and looking for Frankenstein's brain is over here. Finding a dodo bird, hanging a cardinal, driving a sister insane, Phineas. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. Come on, Perry. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Mom, Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence. Duh. Yeah, I love Phineas and Ferb. And now I'm here to tell you really how much I love it. Okay, so if y'all don't know about Phineas and Ferb, which, where have y'all been? <laughs> Phineas and Ferb is a show about two st about two stepbrothers. And, well, as you guessed it, Phineas and Ferb, their sister Candice, their pet platypus named Perry who is also a secret agent and the thing is throughout the summer Phineas and Ferb make these crazy adventures which Candace tries to get her mom to see but she never really sees it and their platypus Perry like I mentioned who is a secret agent always fights this evil scientist named Dr. Doofenshmirtz who always gets mistaken for a pharmacist and like I said, throughout the adventures, Phineas and Ferb make these crazy adventures, which their friends also help them out. Isabella, Bonji, Buford, and sometimes Erwin. And anyway, there's about a lot of crazy adventures of summer vacation. Sometimes they'll build crazy adventures. Sometimes they'll just discover Atlantis. Sometimes they'll just go to a museum and travel back in time. Sometimes they'll go to it. They'll get their minds switched on an alien planet. Sometimes they'll be all hang. Oh yeah, and then some. And then sometimes they'll get their brain switched with aliens from a different dimension. There are all kinds of different crazy things in. Phineas and Ferb. And the fun thing is, even though it's really repetitive with Candace trying to bust their brothers but never can, and the thing mysteriously disappears because of something Dr. Doofenshmirtz created, it's just, it's just really crazy. I just, I just love it. Also, a number one thing that I love, and I know many other people loved about Phineas and Ferb, is the freaking songs. Like I said, like I sing the theme song at first. One of my, one of my favorite songs is Carpe Dia. Excuse me, Carpe Diem, it's Latin for season day. Or you could say season day is, is for Carpe Diem. Yes, yes, you could. Yeah, we will hope you enjoy the show. Hope it was not anti-climatic. Now there's something we want you to know. We, we don't want to sound didactic. But if there's one thing we can say, I know it sounds a bit cliche. There's no such thing as just an ordinary day. I really love Carpe Diem. I also, I also love summer. Where do we begin? The days are longer, the nights are shorter, the sun is shining. It's not exactly warmer. It's summer, every single. I just like kick it up a notch at the end of the day. Kick it up a notch. Oh man, you know that's true. Kick it up a notch. We're gonna push on through. Kick it up a notch. We intend to go with the flow. Cause everybody knows some old rocks, but now we're ready to roll. All right, slash, let's roll. Anyway, yeah, I love, I love, um, I love, I love that too. I also love rubber bands, rubber balls, and super such stretchy things. Rubber bands, rubber balls. I really love that. I really, I really love that. Oh, oh, uh, the overarching theme, Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated. Come on, y'all know y'all love that jingle.
but he really should read he really should write the rest of that <laughs> sorry i had to make that i really had to make that reference <laughs> anyway where was that again oh yeah i also love the act like a g l e t don't forget it it's a viral thing. A G L E Z. Act like don't forget it. A G L E Z. Act like don't forget it. Candace, with a catchy song as heck as that. How the freak do you keep forgetting what the freak the angle it is? I never forgot. <laughs> Thank you, Phineas and Ferb, for teaching me what the heck the angle it was. Even though I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even really care, but hey, I'm glad I learned. <laughs> I also, eh, come on, y'all know y'all look like that. Doobie doobie dooba, doobie doobie dooba, doobie doobie dooba, Perry, he's a semi-quadic angling man of action. Da 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 da, he's a person who never fits for free, yeah, yeah. He's got more than just my skill. He's got a beaver tail in a bill. And women swarm whenever they hear him say. He's Perry. Perry the platypus. You can call him AJP. Perry, I said you can call him AJP. Like, I love that theme song. The fact that they even gave Perry his own theme song. That was, that was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> I love it. One of my favorite episodes of Phineas and Ferb is the Night of the Living Pharmacies. There were just too many funny moments that I kept cracking up. And, like, for the moment, like, where everybody just kept taking off all their clothes except for their underwear. But I like Doofus Mercy's one better. Like, like, where he said that same line. <laughs> That was hilarious. That, that was hilarious. I loved it. So much. It was hilarious. I loved it. <laughs> anyway. I loved it so much. It was too crazy. Here. Sorry. It's, <laughs> I took so long. Good thing I paused this. Anyway. um. So anyway. Where was I again? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like I said, I loved everything about Phineas and Ferb. I love Phineas, I love Ferb, I love Perry, I love Doof. Guys, Doof. Best. Like, that guy is so hilarious. And like, how he was always, like, how he would always tell, like, his dramatic backstory. His backstories for the reason, for the reason why he made this new invention uh, why he would make these new inventions every day uh, also my favorite moment has got to be the moment in the movie where the other dimension doof was like the reason he became evil uh, sorry evil is because he lost a toy train he was like that's it it's like regular doof said that's it and then evil dude was like what do you what do you mean that's it? Like, that's your emotional backstory? D d dude, man, I was raised by freaking ocelots. Like, the actual animal ocelots. Are you telling me you, you, lost, a, you lost a toy tray? I had to, I had to work as a freaking lawnmower. My parents didn't even come to my own freaking birth, which I think we obviously could know how that really doesn't make any sense. But yeah, but yeah, like, like, he has way more traumatic backstory than just losing a toy train. And I'm like, like, like really? That's how you got to do? Lose a toy train? And that's how you become the most evil person ever? Like, what the frick? What the frick? <laughs> I found that really ridiculous. And I really, I really love videos and fur. Videos and fur is just the best. There were a few episodes which I thought were kind of bad because they didn't have really interesting stuff in it. But every other episode, I loved. I loved the, dude, we're getting the band back together. <laughs> I loved the musical Fantastic Countdown, part one. Part two was uh, okay, but part one was really what I loved the most. 
That was the one I loved the most. Not because of the songs. No. The no, no some no, it's not just because of the songs, it's because of the segue between just doof and uh between just doof and uh major monogram. Cause those two are just those two just are wonderful characters that play off each other. Like I love them too who play it off each other. It's hilarious. Oh, here's another song I really love. My name, my name, oh my name, 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 my name. I used to sit around doing Eve all day, but now I think somebody's gonna get in my way. Yeah, there's someone in my life that doesn't want me to take my name, my name, oh my name, my name. I really love that. I also really love that sense. This is. I really also like that sense song. I also love that sad song too. I wish I could remember the lyrics right now, but I can't remember them for some weird reason. I really love that kid is vampire. It's not romantic or that good to live forever more. I play it every Halloween. <laughs> I also, I also love Kenneth. I love the song about going into Kenneth's mind. We're going deep into your mind. We never know what we might find. Oppression, aversion, your embarrassing obsession will make Freud annoyed. But don't get paranoid. We're going deep into your mind. <laughs> I, lo I love it. Like, it's a, like, if you think about this. Is so. I loved it. I loved everything about Phineas. I loved. I loved everything about Phineas and Fur. And like how it ended. Oh, guys, I'll be right back. Anyway, like I was saying, I love everything about Phineas and Ferb. I love all the characters. Even some of the kind of background characters like Isabel de Bazzi and Buford. I just like each one of their characters. And like, when Buford and Bazzi got that song for the beast, I really liked it. I'm not singing it because unfortunately I don't remember all the lyrics. So, yeah. <laughs> I love how Verb, even though he says very little lines, he's just like, he's just one of the best characters. I really like him. Like, I love characters that only have a few lines, yet the lines they say just be so impactful. You'd be like, sheesh, man. I didn't even expect you to say something like that. <laughs> it was like, it'd be crazy sometimes. <laughs> I also... I also really like his relationship with Vanessa. I'm so sorry I didn't mention Vanessa. I'm s sorry. Vanessa is one of my favorite characters. I just love her whole goth persona. Like, I just love it. <laughs> also, her song with Candace Busty. You know you busty. I don't mean hard on you but you better believe it when I tell you that I finally got the dirt on you you're busted that is my favorite song I really love that and I like how Candace and Vanessa kind of got a friendship I love I love that those two are just so great oh and y'all don't know who Vanessa is Vanessa is Dr. Doofus's daughter. <laughs> and I gotta be honest, it sounds kind of funny when. Kind of. I just really love the. Great father daughter moments between Vanessa. Vanessa and, uh, and Doofus Schmertz. I also. I also find it funny whenever. Whenever Doofus Schmertz would complain about the re. Uh, complain about the many things about his ex wife. Like, it was kind of funny. I'm just, I just be thinking, like, uh, Doof, how did you and your ex wife even get together? I mean, it's not like they really hated each other because, hello, she lets him use, uh, 
her like credit card to be able to pay for all that those and pay for all that material to buy the invention so she somewhat cares about him she somewhat cares about him otherwise she wouldn't be doing all this stuff but at the same time I wonder like like Charlene what did you and Doofy even get together how did y'all get together we never get that explanation along with the we never get the explanation of Phineas and Candace's original father and Ferb's original mother. We ne we never really figure out who who they are, what their names were, what they were like. How did they die? Did they die of a normal death? Did they die by accident? We don't know. We'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. They never explain. They never even show flashbacks of it of any of their other parents. So we'll never know. Even the grandparents never say anything. So forever we'll all never know. At least it's some at least in some shows, the grandparents are like, I remember my daughter, I remember my daughter, or I remember my son doing this thing as usual, and then almost the whole entire place is being brought down, but then at the same time, they're like, yeah, she was, or he was something, wasn't it? Like, they, like at least they normally do that. How are you going to bring the grandparents in and not even mention one of them? Like, come on, man, come on! It's unfair! But I really do like the grandparents too. Oh, Stacy! I almost forgot to mention Stacy as well. I like Stacy. I also like Jeremy. Jeremy and Candace's relationship so cute and pure. Like I love the Isabella and Phineas. It's like woo, woo! Was that annoying me? Woo, woo! It took way too long. It took way too long for us to finally see an episode where they finally get together. And guess what? We have to, we have to skip all the way to them going to college for them to finally get together. Now, high school, yeah, I would have been more fine with, but freaking college, we had to wait till they get to college? Come on, man. You cannot be oblivious for that many years. And you know what's crazy is what I say about, like, high school would have been better. They even say in the episode that the around the time that Phineas started getting a crush on Isabella was when he was in high High school, and I was like, you know, you could have made a prequel to this. You really could have made a prequel to this. I really would have loved if you made a whole entire series around in high school, him being all nervous and everything, having a crush on Isabella now. I would have been like, ah, the tables have turned now. The tables have turned. And there were some moments in the show where I was like, well, does it? Well, it doesn't he have a crush on Isabella? There were times in the show, I swear, the show was like, Phineas might actually have a crush on Isabella. And then, he, he, the show also tries to fake it out, be like, no, no, no. He didn't be like, he actually has a crush crush. No, he just might like her. That made me you think that he has a crush on her. So I'm like, show, you can't mess with me like that. Come on, man, that's cruel. That is too cruel. It's bad enough you mess with me with all this other junk. I gotta be honest, I was kind of surprised when, when I figured out that Ferb and Vanessa actually got together in the end. I kind of shipped them, but at the same time, I didn't really see it. I didn't know if they would really get together. So, yeah, that that's one thing that really surprised me. I'm glad Doof turned from being evil and finally started, you know, coming to the good side. I also really like... I also really, I also really liked, um, I don't know, I loved everything about this. I like Bell G, how he's so smart, but at the same, at the same time, he still has his funny moments. Buford, he's supposed to be the typical bully character, but like, we never really saw him as that. We just saw him as the annoying neighbor who who seems like he would be the typical bully. And, you know, sometimes he did have his bully moments, but let's be honest, the only one he really bullied was Balji. <laughs> and, like, for some weird reason, they didn't make it too torturous. They kind of made it, like, they were trying to make it kind of funny. I didn't like that they were kind of making it, try to make it kind of funny. It wasn't that cool. But, hey, it was pretty okay for the time being. 
I loved all the specials like New Year's, Christmas, the Halloween specials. I loved all of those. They were all nostalgic. Phineas and Ferb will always be my favorite. I watched all the Phineas and Ferb specials. I even watched Phineas and Ferb Cannons Against the Universe. I watched that. Anyway, guys. That is my bits and pieces of why I love Phineas and Ferb. I love the ending song. I know y'all loved it. Y'all know how much y'all loved Phineas and Ferb, and y'all know how much I love Phineas and Ferb for me singing all these songs and mentioning everything about Phineas and Ferb. Th their parents were okay. Lindana was more fun, but Lawrence was there. Eh, I wish I could have gave Lawrence more character, but still. It was a fun show while it aired, and it still is a fun show now, so if you haven't, if you haven't seen Phineas and Ferb, which I don't know how, go watch Phineas and Ferb on Disney Plus. It's really good. It has all the seasons and everything, so yeah, go watch it. But if y'all don't feel like watching it, listen to its music. Anyway, I love, I love, uh, this is the last video. This is Kenisha the Creator signing out. I hope y'all like Phineas and Ferb as much as I do. Bye! Like is coming